Hello everyone, Big E here, and I'm actually playing Robocop, Rogue City. Now, right now, it's about stopping a burglary, or robbery. See, I think I have enough for now. I think I'm at a maximum. I will have to say, it's been kind of an interesting game, but there is a lot of investigations to go through. And your scanner is not always the easiest, but you have ways to actually upgrade it as you go, but these upgrades, there's a variety of up upgrades that you want to be able to do. So, it just depends on how you want to play it, how you want to be, how you want to do it. I don't know if there is going to be a New Game Plus, but I hope there is. Oh, there we are. Better alive, you're coming with me. Uh oh, transmission, where are they? Come on. I know I shot you. Okay, where is that guy? Shield up. Uh. That should do it with that one. Oh shit. How in the hell did that happen? Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get those two. If I can. <sighs> Guess I'm probably not going to come back. Probably. <laughs> and I'm actually running. <laughs> Robocop is running. Actually, you know, I'd rather have the shotgun. As my extra, besides the... His little P9 or whatever it's called. I am in pursuit of the Vikings. I have followed them into a tunnel. So that's how they must have gotten here in the first place. It seems they're retreating into the old industrial area. That must be where they've hidden their getaway vehicle. You gotta hurry. Better alive. You're coming with me. Oh, these guys. And yes, you can punch these guys. <laughs> you can throw them. You can throw a variety of objects, actually, at people. I guess I can't do that one. Uh-oh, bikers. Easiest to shoot, that's for sure. So at least two left.
Yeah, I was with these bikers, that's for sure. Oh wow, I actually destroyed the bike too. See, I can actually grab it and throw it. Uh oh, more. Great. Ah. Target it in this. I don't know if maybe one of the P9 circuit boards is something that you can do. You Come in with me. Secrets.
Okay. There is more. Okay, good. Just need to find... That's doable. Uh, let's see if there is anything besides the bicycle. I can look at and scan. Yeah, oh, here we go. Take money. Take ID. A lot of stuff are like taken practically almost from the movie to a certain degree. There's a little comment on there about can you fly Bobby? Which of course is a comment from the first movie. So, anything I'm missing? Oh, a rocket launcher? Really? Okay, I'll take that. I might need that because I did get attacked by an 8209 at one point. <laughs> okay, 8209. Let's fall down. <clears throat> this ought to be fine. I am listening, creep. <laughs> Why did Wendell Antonowski send you here? This was a suicide mission. We no longer deal with that arrogant prick. We had an agreement. We held our end of it. And apparently it slipped his mind to pay us for our services. Well, that didn't sit well with us. So now we're out to get what we're owed. The only thing you are owed is a prison cell. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm a vulture. I need my space. I'll see you around, cop. Hard to read. Okay. The OCP Bank. Yeah. Glad we got Murphy on our team. Pertinent information regarding the case. We'll get to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go. Dr. Blanche is already waiting in the observation room. Once it's over, join us in the briefing room. Durr. <laughs> What's the big idea? Piece of junk taser blew the fuse when I tried to charge it. Night vision. Okay, what's going on here? Let me take care of that. What the heck? Okay, why do we have a radio on when there's no light, supposedly? I guess there is a light. Ah. Uh. To the lights out. Robocop, is that you? I can't see anything. I am standing in front of you, Officer O'Neill. Is there a problem? <laughs> oh, see, P skimps on everything when it comes to the police. Fired our maintenance guy to reduce their costs, so now we are literally in the dark. We need to get the power back on. I am equipped to deal with such situations. I think my only complaint would be the fact that they don't... That uh, they don't have the spectrograph. 
They do have night vision, but not a spectrograph. Okay, now what? Follow the cables. Okay, going down, I guess. Okay, everything seems fine over here. Circuit breakers appear to be okay. Now oh, there's a problem with the circuit. That one here. Okay, that's not it. I'm not so sure that's the way it works, but okay. Uh, you need like a new fuse or something. So am I done with that one? Uh, yes, it's completed. Yeah, so the Auto 9, you get these particular boards that you can use. So this one looks like it's an updated version and I'm actually not even having to Reload, interestingly enough. No armor piercing, though. What the hey? No, I have one skill. <clears throat> Let me see here. I haven't done the psychology part yet. Let's see, scanning. Oh, yeah. Now that would definitely be a good thing. I think I'm going to need my armor though. After all that happening. Okay. I think that's upper. No, that's a holding cell. Okay, never mind. Holding cell. That's not a holding cell. <sighs> oh, it's my oh, holding cell. That's Detroit shining beacon of hope. Thanks for the help, Murphy. Yeah, because the only vision he has is night vision. Doesn't have a spectral vision, so it unfortunately. Wasn't a mistake when they didn't send us insulated gloves. I'm afraid not. Looks like OCP is really cutting costs where it can. God knows what they'll cut next, or who. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? I'm ready for you, Robo. All right. Let's see what's cooking under the hood. Once I'm done, he's all yours, Doctor. Mm. Mm, here's my eval. How well did I do? Oh, shoot. I think, oh my god, I didn't do so well. I did get an A at one point. <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Congratulations. I've seen your accomplishment on TV. I hope that I'll manage to remain professional despite sitting opposite a celebrity. How do you feel about being acclaimed as a hero again? I serve the public trust. I do not do it for fame. No. Your sense of duty is what drives you. That's clear. I'm sure you'd love to share this accomplishment with Anne Lewis. 
You've seen her at the hospital, haven't you? How is she? She is stable. You cherish that relationship, don't you? She's an important part of your life. Your past life, too. She is. Just like your family. <coughs> You're very protective of your past. OCP cut me off from my family. And how do you view their decision to separate you from them? Yeah, boy. It was cruel. To everyone involved, I'm sure. Nevertheless, you still think about them, don't you? What comes to mind when you try to remember your family? I see. Memories can be painful. Especially when they're connected to the ones you love. They tend to remind us of what we're missing. The thief that broke into my house I mentioned before. He was my brother. He was an addict who'd come over to steal things to sell so he could buy drugs. As you can imagine, my last memory of us together is not a happy one. But despite that, I still wouldn't want to lose it. It serves as a reminder of how I failed him. And I've been trying to rectify it ever since. I do not remember my family. I can only feel them. These feelings, how do they manifest themselves? as system failure but ocp sees them as obstacles that need to be removed and now you're afraid that they sent me here to convince you they are right did they what you need to understand is that regardless of outside influences my clients well-being takes highest priority especially now that i understand how important these memories are to you i will fight for you in every way i know how if you let me I think this is a good place to end this session. Thank you for your honesty. It certainly has been noted. I've got plenty to think about for now. Stands. Delta City is the only hope that we have. <laughs> I wish they had uh, the voices were a little bit more convincing. <laughs> the uh, old man looks like the old man from the movies. Doesn't sound at all like him, though. <laughs> yeah, just keep following the road. But the road ends here. What was Officer that? Whitaker. Oh, break it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm hearing you clearly. Oh my God! What a lemon. You two seem to be enjoying yourselves. Uh, just having a little fun with our fellow dispatcher. Don't worry, I'm sure the kid has a sense of humor. He's just a little blue hazing. And he's an OCP stooge anyway. You're not going soft on us, are you, Murphy? OCP is never to be trusted. That's what I'm saying. You know that he runs to Becker with a stack of papers every time you two talk, right? He's a rat. We're just looking out for you, Murphy. All right. Actually, I like the guy, the, the Ulysses guy, but. Uh, so what did we learn from it? When it's their money on the line, OCP will send who Robo he's Cop, with. the entire <laughs> SWAT team, and a bunch of Ed 209s that actually work. Anything else? Wendell Antonowski no longer deals with the street vultures. That's right. There's been a rift in their midst, and I want to know why. Spike has proven to be talkative under suitable conditions. That's why I want you all to head to the city and do some actual police work. 
We need to find Spike. The attack on OCP Bank was a desperate move. I'm sure there's plenty of theories floating around. So we need to listen to what the streets are saying to find where the vultures are hiding. I know someone versed in street talk. Talk to him. And, oh, I almost forgot. Murphy, once you're downtown, the old man wants to meet with you. Oh, the old man himself? <laughs> what an honor. Yeah, he's the closest Detroit has to real-life royalty. Maybe for saving him all that money, he'll knight you or something. Enough! Head downtown, <laughs> ask around, and most importantly, find Spike. Robocop! Over here! You wouldn't want to make the mayor of Detroit wait, would you? May I help you, Mr. Mayor? Oh, it's me who's gonna do the helping. You know John Mills, I presume? The OCP puppet who's gunning for my seat as mayor? I've heard from a reliable source that he's planning to make you the highlight of his election bid. Judging by your expressive face, he hasn't talked to you about it yet, huh? That's what I figured. What a slimy bastard. <laughs> Using your image to influence the good people of this city, and without your consent? That's clearly something that I would never do. But you know that I've always appreciated what you're doing for our city, right? So the real question is, what are we going to do about it together? I would like to hear his arguments. Just be careful. He's a snake oil salesman that will say whatever it takes to gain your support. I need to go. Campaign season is busy, but let me leave you with one word of advice. Whatever you do, make it clear that you are not siding with meals. You can be sure that they'll twist your every word and use it against you. That's what OCP does. Thanks for the talk, Robocop. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. <laughs> That's a Robocop 2 thing. Yeah, right there. Okay, so I probably should start with psychology too. Uh, is there anything in here before I leave? Anything extra? Because there's sometimes a lot of extra things to do. <clears throat> Stairs. Just want to make sure, because since I kind of missed a few things on the last run, it was a little too quick, I guess. Okay, he's not there. There's no one else here. Gun range. Robocop is getting a face to face with the old man himself? I'd tell him all about how the OCP is fucking us over. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't say a word if you actually met him. Why? Did you meet him? Last year's Thanksgiving parade. I was part of a column delegated to protecting his dog. What? How come this is the first time I'm hearing this? Officer Ramirez, a licensed dog walker. Shut up, Kaplan. <laughs> hey, Shiny. Got a job for you. No, you don't. How are you feeling after the incident at the bank? Who gives a shit? I heard that you're heading to the city. Once you're out there, I want you to check one apartment for me. There's suspicion of domestic <clears throat> terrorism and corporate espionage, so expect a warm welcome. Should I assume hostility from the suspect? I assume you'll find sensitive data there. Look for it thoroughly and make sure it comes straight back to my hands. Tenement across the street from the arcade, apartment 12. Now go, I've got to prepare for a meeting. And remember, 
If you won't take care of it, another cop will have to. Another cop that isn't quite as resistant to deadly surprises as you are. Alright folks, I'm gonna probably do another one in just a moment. Take care, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 